Happy Halloween, gnarly Charlie here from Nutanix Cloud Clusters. Picking the right cloud provider can be a daunting task, but with NT2, you can start on cloud A, move to cloud B, and then come right on back. Let's take a look at this awesome demo. So here we're starting in Azure and maybe moving over to AWS to take use of some additional resources. We are in our Prism Central in Azure. You can see that it looks exactly the same as our on-prem version. Uh, we have our one cluster, TME Next AZ01. And here's our actual Prism Element cluster. See the Azure Ready node. So Prism Element looks the same. This is our AWS. Prism Central, and the only distinguishing factor is the bare metal type that is making it different. So we're just going to take a look at our two virtual machines. We have two called Power Glide 1 and 2 because we're going to slide these babies over into AWS and then slide them right on back. So here's our two virtual machines we're using a category to protect them so we can easily add additional resources to our uh, category which then in, because we have that category applied to this protection policy a protection policy uh, we've been using for years at Nutanix so we're just setting our RPO so how often we want to snapshot and the locations that we want to send them and here you can edit and pick a variety of different RPOs but we're trucking right, right along we have our two VMs coming up from our category, Power Glide. Hit update. <clears throat> and then we'll take a look at our recovery plan. A recovery plan is a way to orchestrate a set of applications. And in this case, we just have the two virtual machines, but we could have a tiered application with SQL and web front ends. So we hit update. This is our CloudShift recovery plan. Uh, here are the recovery sequences where you could add additional stages. So you could add in custom scripting if you needed to. So here we are just mapping our different networks, which we're keeping it pretty simple for this demo. So we're going to be able to utilize the native IPs in AWS. So we always initiate our migration or failover uh, depending on your use case from the destination. So here we're in AWS. We're going to initiate our recovery plan. <clears throat> so our two VMs show up. We hit failover. Uh, we'll type it in just to make sure. And so we'll actually shut down the virtual machines, give it one last snapshot, and move everything over. And then we can go into the recovery plan and see how the tasks are progressing. Um, since we can just ship the deltas, it's a pretty easy way to do, you know, seed data. And then at the time of cutover, um, it can be very quick. So here, the last remaining deltas took a minute and then we've powered them on. And so now we're already up and running in AWS. So here's our two VMs on our AWS cluster up and running. Now... Likewise, if you decide that you need to move back to that cloud provider or a different region in cloud A, B, whatever the use case, pretty easy to do because once again, the day two operations are the same regardless of the location where you're going. So now we're failing back. We're on our Azure PC and we're failing back into Azure. So our two power glide machines came up roughly a minute to go back as well. And now they're booting in Azure. So regardless of where you need your applications to run, Nutanix can migrate and move them to the right area for you. So a lot of uh, ease of use and consistency across whatever cloud platform that you choose. So here we're just taking a look at the two Power Glide VMs back on our cluster in Azure. Nutanix Cloud Clusters provides the ultimate choice and flexibility for your hybrid cloud needs. 
Come look at NC2 today and start your own free trial.